Aluminum is one of the more popular choices for metal roofing, especially when it comes to coastal applications. In today's video, we're gonna learn what the characteristics of aluminum are and should you choose it for your metal roof. What's up guys, welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm Thad Barnett, make sure you subscribe if you're new. We release metal roofing and metal construction content every Monday and Wednesday. Welcome to Q&A Mondays. We're talking about metal roof materials today, specifically aluminum. And today I have Tom Sutherland from Sheffield Metals, and we're gonna discuss some aluminum characteristics and whether or not you should choose it for your roof. Tom, thanks for being here. Oh, my pleasure. So let's start with characteristics of aluminum. It's something that, uh, you know, you're from Atlanta, Georgia. You've sold a lot of aluminum into coastal areas, uh, in Bahamas, Caribbean area as well. So can you talk to me about aluminum and what the characteristics of that metal material is? Well, I guess the primarily, primary thing for uh, our industry is, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's density. It's about a third of um, galvanized or galvanized, and that goes for the weight, so it's light. The main advantage of it around here, uh, of one of its characteristics, is the corrosion resistance. Uh, it has a tendency to heal itself. So can you uh, explain to me a little bit more about the, the density of the aluminum and the lightweight characteristics of it? Yeah, what it is is that the uh, aluminum, as far as the weight to strength ratio, is, is about a third of what it is for uh, steel or any other kind of ferrous metal. That means that on a weight per square foot basis, when you compare gauges and thicknesses and galvalume, uh, 24 gauge is typically measured like an 023 or an 0236 or an 024 thickness. Uh, in our aluminum, we use an 032, which would be the equivalent pretty much in strength. It's a little it's a little thicker, but with the density, it comes out about half the weight. Uh, so the cost per square foot is in line with what it would be for gavelin. Why does that matter for someone who's installing uh, aluminum roofing when it comes to being lightweight in that uh, weight to strength ratio? Well, it's just so much easier to handle. Um, you know, if you, if you come out with long panels, uh, it's just uh, the weight per square foot. A 10 foot panel is gonna weigh half of what it does in aluminum as it does in steel. So it's just a lot easier to handle and because it is more lightweight, is that a concern for a homeowner when it comes to durability compared to steel? No, actually, I mean, just because it's lightweight, like it, when I go back to its density, it's, it's just as strong, just about as strong as steel. But as far as pencil strength and the strength of the panel and the seams itself, aluminum is gonna be comparable to uh, anything you can do with steel. Let's talk about some other characteristics of aluminum. Uh, you mentioned uh, corrosion resistance. Is that a type of metal that will last a long time? Yeah, aluminum works a little different than, than any kind of gabalum or steel does. When it corrodes, it, it, it doesn't white ru uh, rust, red rust like steel does. It forms hard oxidation or an oxide film on its coating which protects the aluminum, and it does that very quickly. So you don't have the creepage, and it doesn't eat the panel up the way that it does with rust and steel. So it's self-healing, just so much better in, in corrosive uh, conditions. What about when it comes to colors and finishes of aluminum? I know with galvalume steel, you can have uh, unpainted Steel, is that something you can do with aluminum too? Or is it painted only? Talk to me about that. I prefer the painted only. Uh, you know, one of the main advantages of using aluminum with Sheffield is that we offer a paint finish warranty or finish warranty on the coast. And that is in conjunction with the paint finish and the, uh, the aluminum substrate put together. Uh, if you just put bare aluminum on the coast, uh, you will not get a warranty on it. 
uh, any kind of finish warranty or, or anything. I have a tendency to not like to work with mill finish aluminum, especially in our part of the uh, industry because it might have a tendency to white rust. It won't rust through and it won't hurt the, uh, the performance of the material, but it just won't look good. And you're talking about aluminum being used on the coast. Tell me more about that compared to steel. Well, I'd say it just goes back to uh, being able to handle the corrosive atmosphere so much better than steel. Uh, you don't get any of the edge rust that you get with steel. Uh, with the steel, you're going to get uh, edge rust, which is going to lead to creepage, and it's going to move up the panel. Uh, with an aluminum, when you shear that or you cut it, that edge is going to self-heal itself. It's going to oxidize. So you're not going to get the, the ugly red rust that you're going to see on a normal panel. And that goes for anywhere, not just the coast. Let's talk about the benefits of aluminum. Let's start for contractors. You know, what, what's some benefits of them working with aluminum? Well, it goes back to the lightweight, just the ease of working with it, easy, easier to handle. It's very, very easy to bend and fold. You don't have to worry about it cracking and crazing uh, as much. It's very pliable. As far as when you get into certain projects and we're moving away from the coast, well, not necessarily, but moving away from the coast, if you get into some into some lead projects or stuff like that, if you use aluminum on a leads project, it goes a long way to getting points because of its uh, recyclability. Yeah, tell me more about the recyclability of aluminum. Well, it's 100% recyclable. As a matter of fact, the material we use, we use a 3000 series alloy, specifically a 3105. And 3105 is primarily made from totally recycled material. Um, there is very little uh, pure uh, aluminum in it. It's all made from recyclable materials. 75% of all the aluminum that's being used out there is still in use. And going back to what you were talking about, about it being lightweight, if I'm a contractor pulling a portable roll former, um, that probably makes it easier on my truck and equipment to have lighter coils. Would you agree with that? It does. Uh, but you've also got to keep in mind that uh, with it being a thicker material, your coils are going to be smaller lineal footage wise. They're going to be just as big around, but they're going to be less lineal footage where you can get, say, typically a 2000 lineal foot coil on a standalone decoiler, you probably could not do that with aluminum because it's going to be, the OD of it is just going to be so much bigger. What about for a homeowner? Let's talk about more benefits of aluminum. I know, we, I know we've mentioned some of these a little bit earlier, but let's go back to that. Talk to me about, you know, why is aluminum a good choice or let's say some benefits for a homeowner. The primary benefit is going to be on the coast uh, where you can get your, uh, finish warranty and you don't have to worry about corrosion uh, near as much. Some exposed areas where there might be some through fastening and stuff like that, there might be a little corrosion around the fastener, but you're not going to have the out and out corrosion that you could have with a, with a galvalume or a galvanized product. Also, the, the, the finish of the, of the aluminum looks a little different than the uh, galvanum because it's a smoother surface to start with. The coater is really like that because when it comes into the coating lines, the aluminum is a lot cleaner. So it's easier to clean and pre-treat to paint. It's just, it's just better painted material. And like what you mentioned about that finish warranty on the coastline, that's important because you know, when you get close to a coast, there is no finish warranty for, for galvalume or steel. Is that right? That's correct. Within 1,500 feet. Um, there is no warranty for, for any kind of, uh, well, any other product other than aluminum. Let's talk about some, some drawbacks of aluminum. Uh, you know, what are some things that, uh, you know, you might not want to use that for? It dents a little easier. 
than the uh, steel does. So if you are in a high hail storm area or something like that, hail would tend to beat it up a little bit more. It does expand and contract more than steel. So you have to be very aware of uh, your thermal expansions when you're installing. Make sure you give it plenty of room for movement. Aluminum is, is more of a commodity than steel is, so the price seems to fluctuate a little bit more. It's not as bad as copper, but going through different periods, like right now, we're, we're probably experiencing the highest cost on aluminum that I've ever seen. And I've been I've been involved with aluminum for 35 years. Yeah, and we're here at the uh, quarter two of 2022. And yeah, I, we've talked about that in our industry updates as well. Where does aluminum tend to sit, though, in relation to steel when it comes to cost? Is it generally more expensive than steel? Generally, a little bit, but not much. Um, typically, back in a steady market where all things are equal, your aluminum is going to come in at maybe 10 to 15 cents more a square foot. Now, that's that's not applied cost. That's cost of materials. So it's more per pound, but it's less per square foot. So let's say I'm a homeowner and I'm, I'm getting a metal roof put on and I'm considering steel versus aluminum. You know, when is aluminum the right choice for me? What are those decision factors? It's primarily got to do with corrosion. If you're on the coast, uh, you definitely got to use aluminum. That's why, you know, when you get down in the islands, uh, the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and you use aluminum. Because uh, still, even inside, you get inside two, three miles inland, that still still has a tendency to rust because there's so much salt residue in the air and all. So primarily it all goes back to corrosion resistance. That's our primary market is all up and down the East Coast and Texas coastline, just all the way around any coastline, really. So you mentioned some primary thicknesses of aluminum uh, that you tend to sell. You know, are there others that Sheffield deals in? Yeah, um, primarily for residential, um, you're looking at a no 3 or an 030 aluminum, uh, which is equivalent to 24 gauge steel. Uh, but you can move into, like, if you've got big commercial jobs where you need more strength, then you can do 040. The 040 is roll formable. We have testing and engineering on 040. But when you get into, like, 050 and 063, which we also supply, that is going to be mainly used for any kind of copings, trims, dallies, and stuff like that. Uh, you cannot roll form 050 or 063 on a portable stainless steel roll former. Tell me more about that um, aluminum engineering and testing. What's available through Sheffield? Well, we're still uh, we're still in the process of getting some Florida product approvals, uh, which goes along with the testing that we're doing now. We've got a few coming in. Uh, coming back on board, we've got uh, uh, the inch and a half, uh, two inch, uh, inch and three quarter, uh, which will all be available. We're also doing testing or getting product approval on some other profiles. What about colors when it comes to aluminum? Is there a separate color card? Uh, we use the same color card, but if you look at the availability matrix on the back of our card, uh, it's got everything listed out in the gauges and widths. And that's just what we have on hand. Now, we can paint any of our colors in aluminum uh, that we have in steel. Uh, there would just be some minimum minimum charges and cost involved to do with that. All right, Tom. Well, thanks a lot. I really appreciate your knowledge on this subject. Uh, always a pleasure talking with you. Always here. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'd love to answer them. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. And as always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.